Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today's video comes from a user question. Arsen writes, what's the best way to turn a white horse to a black horse in Pixelmator? Arsen, that's a good question and gives us a chance to use all the great tools of Pixelmator. And that's what we're going to do in today's video. So right now we're here in Pixelmator. The first thing you need to do is to select the horse. Let's click Q on the keyboard to bring up the quick selection tool. Make sure the tool is set to add and paint over the horse. Quick selection tool is one of the most intuitive selection tools in any photo editor. I like how accurately it works, even in areas of similar contrast, which is really an extremely challenging problem. To get rid of any selection errors, choose subtract. For example, I don't want to include the horse's headbands, so I'm going to get rid of it. Once the selection is done, click the Color Adjustments button. Then navigate to the Replace Color section. As the name suggests, we need to specify a color in the image to replace. To do this, we're going to use the eyedropper tool. So click on the left eyedropper tool and click on a white area of the horse. There, we have selected that as the color to replace. Now, let's choose a color to replace that color with. In this case, I'll click the right control, which will bring up the color picker. Select a black shade. As you can see, the effect is pretty good, but there are some errors. Pixelmator is having problems replacing the skin of the horse, which has an orange tint. So to make it easier on Pixelmator, I'll desaturate those areas. Scroll to Hue and Saturation, and decrease the saturation slider to get rid of those orange tones. Now go back to the Replace Color section and redo the process. Select the color to replace using the eyedropper. Then select the color to replace with using the right control. And voila, a black horse. You can experiment with the range and intensify sliders if that helps improve the effect. Let's look at the before and after. A pretty result if you ask me. It certainly beats looking for an actual black horse or doing any genetic engineering. So today we learned how to use some of the powerful tools of Pixelmator namely the quick selection tool and the replace tool. So I hope you found this video helpful. Remember to check out our other Pixelmator videos in this channel. And if you found this content useful, don't forget to subscribe and to like the video to keep the videos coming. And till the next time, bye!